Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, your boy has a treat for you guys. Today we are unboxing a ton of stuff. A lot of heat has been accumulating in my apartment. I cannot tell you guys how patiently I've been waiting to show you guys all of this stuff. Um, I will preface this by saying that most of this stuff is already opened. Actually, everything is already opened. Just the state of the world right now with coronavirus, I'm not trying to risk having like packages and boxes just sitting in my apartment. I have no idea where these stuff have been. So I did take the liberty and already opened this stuff up. I hope that you guys do not kill me and do not hate me. But um, nonetheless, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If by any chance you guys do have any of the stuff that I'm about to show you guys, if you were lucky enough to pick any of this stuff up, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know your opinions on those stuff as well. But before we get into the video, I do have to mention this because this is the last day to enter. Guys, I am giving away a COVID-19 Supreme Box Logo t-shirt. It is courtesy of me hitting 10,000 subscribers on this channel, which again, I'm not going to tell you guys enough how much I appreciate it. But if you guys do want to enter this giveaway i'm also giving away one of the best supreme bots on the market if you guys want to enter it's very easy just go check out the top link in the description it's a google doc form you have to successfully fill out that form to be entered into the giveaway i will be announcing all of the winners tomorrow during my live cup video so please today is the last day i would hate for you guys to miss out on it please do not sleep and go enter asap but that is it guys let's go into the video let's get into some of these packages there's a lot of stuff here there's sneakers the supreme there's some other just other brands there's accessories i do not know what to get into first um let's start with some of the um i guess the low-key brands let's do that first um as you guys probably know there's been a lot of hype surrounding eric emmanuel and his shorts there have been just a ton of just fire, fire, fire shorts that have dropped over the summer. Um, I have a couple here. I think in total I'm at like five Eric Emanuel shorts, which is crazy. Every time I show up to my house with a new pair, my girlfriend like wants to kill me. I kind of want to kill myself because I really just need to stop spending money on shorts. But um, now I'm going to show you guys three more. This is the Persian rug joints. These are one of my favorites. These actually just dropped a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago, sorry. These are extremely fire, it has like hints of blue, purple, orange, yellow, green, just super, super, super fire, man. Very dope. They actually look like a rug too, so kind of appropriate that they're called the Persian rugs. As far as the logo, it is a pretty nice orange. I would have liked that to be like a purple colorway, but it is what it is. That is my first pair of Eric Emanuel shorts. Next up, I'm going to save these for last because those are super fire. These right here are the Fendi lookalike ones. They're not really Fendi because instead of an F, there's like a double E. Still pretty dope. I actually got hooked up by these by one of the uh, people in my cook group. Shout out to you, you know who you are. But these are super fire. I definitely like these. These are probably now like my second or third favorite ones. I know second or third favorite is kind of wild to say, but um, yeah, pretty dope. These are the Fendi Eric Emanuel shorts. Last up, probably my favorite, my all-time favorite. I got these as a gift to myself of hitting 10,000 subscribers. These are the Bape Eric Emanuel shorts. Very, very dope. I actually took a picture on Instagram. I'll show you guys right here. Very dope, man. My girlfriend hates these, but I, I'm just in love with these, man. No cap. These are super dope. And they were actually a little bit more expensive than the, uh, than the other pairs. Kind of bummer, but it is what it is. These are the Bape Eric Emanuel shorts. Five pairs, bro. Five pairs. I think I spent a total of like $600 on shorts, bro. Somebody send help ASAP. But moving on, let's get into some Supreme items. Before we get into sneakers, because I have a lot of sneakers to show you guys, I just want to knock out these Supreme items really quickly. Um, first, let's start with the t-shirts. You guys have already seen me wear this one. I actually already wore this t-shirt in two videos. This is the Futura logo t-shirt. This is my favorite t-shirt from week one. Very dope. I know a lot of you guys slept on this. A lot of people were like, yo, that verified t-shirt is going to resell for more. That's definitely the item to go for. Nope, you played yourself. It's definitely all about this Fritura logo t-shirt. I'm definitely gonna keep this in the collection probably forever, no cap. Super dope though. Um, as far as other t-shirts, I have two other ones as well. I have two more Fritura logo t-shirts. This is a large black. This is an extra large in white. I will say that this one is extremely fire as well. I was contemplating which one to keep. I like the white one a lot, but in terms of which one I'm gonna get more wears out of, I was like, you know what? Let me just keep the black one. It's easier to wear. It's not gonna get as dirty. Still pretty dope though. If you guys picked up a white one, I'm pretty sure you guys are enjoying it as well. But those are the two Fritura logo t-shirts. Um, next up, we have probably everybody's favorite t-shirt. This t-shirt, I'm not gonna keep it. I was debating on if I wanted to. 
This is the uh, the Verify t-shirt. Um, I was debating if I wanted to, but I'm just not too hot on it, man. It's kind of like a slap in the face that Supreme would drop this. But in terms of one that I would wear, I just don't think I'm going to like it if I end up wearing it. It's kind of like a eye turner, I guess, for all you Supreme heads out there. If you wear this to like a Supreme store or to like any hype gathering for that matter, I'm pretty sure you'll turn heads. But um, to be honest, I'm not too hot on it. It is a uh, pretty unique t-shirt though. This is the Verify t-shirt. Boom. Next up, we have an accessory. This is my only accessory pickup from week one. I picked up a couple of these though. These are the bicycle playing cards. These are super, super dope. These are actually my personal ones. I have these currently sitting in my TV stand. Very dope. I do wanna show you guys one card because I think that a lot of people have not seen these in hand. These are extremely fire. Super dope, these are laminated cards. Not even laminated, because there's not really a card. There's just like that graphic that's kind of like painted in. Super dope though, I hope the camera is picking that up. The card itself is not like a traditional size playing card. It's a bit smaller, but in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. It's still super dope. I'm definitely for one gonna get plenty of uses out of this. But um, yeah, super dope, man. I love the fact that Supreme actually dropped these. I'm definitely gonna keep these around for a long time. But that is the bicycle playing cards. I will say that the case is a nice touch as well. I wish that it actually like housed all the cards and when you open up the case, it kind of like slides, the cards kind of like slide all over the place. But um, still pretty dope accessory. I'm definitely glad that I was able to cop that. Moving on, let's get into some sneakers. Where do I want to start? Where do I want to start? I'm not going to get into the heat just yet because bro, I can't even believe myself that I cop some of these sneakers. Um, let's get into some of these Kith Coca-Cola collaboration. These, you guys should already know, I copped two pairs of these. These are the Chuck Lowe's. When I hit these, I almost thought that I copped a brick, bro. I was actually pretty worried, man. This is a size three. Look how little this sneaker is, bro. Still super dope. You can see the quality there. You can see the embroidered Coca-Cola logo. Kith and Coca-Cola never disappoint with the quality on the Converse's. I knew that off rip that these were going to be insane quality. You can see the little Kith branding there on the uh, on the midsole as well. Um, right now, these are actually going for a pretty penny. These are actually doing the best among all the other sizes and colors. This right now, you can find them for like 300 bucks. Um, kind of crazy that it's a Chuck Low and it's going for that much money. But um, I guess that's the power of Kith. Um, still pretty dope. I do have another colorway though. I'll show you guys that right now. Um, this one right here is the one that probably was a fan favorite. At least I'm gonna say. Um, the white one was pretty dope, but in my opinion, if I'm gonna go for any, it's probably gonna be these. Same ridiculous wrapping on these as well. Boom, boom, boom. These are the red pair. These right here are low key humongous, bro. Especially after looking at that size three. This right here looks like a sneaker for damn near Shaq, bro. Still, pretty dope, man. This right here is a size 10 and a half, believe it or not. I know it looks much larger, but this is only a 10 and a half. I can promise you that. Um, still, the same embroidery for the Coca-Cola logo on the side. Very, very nice quality, man. I'm super impressed, man. I was impressed last time with the highs that dropped from Kith and Coca-Cola. But uh, these right here, still the same quality. Still pretty impressive, in my opinion. But these are the size 10 and a half. Coca-Cola, Kith, Chuck Lopes. Moving on, we have some more sneakers. I'm going to go through this one because I kind of already showed you guys this. I made a review. I went ahead and picked up some more pairs though. I think now I'm at like four pairs. I'm not really sure. But um, these right here are ones that are kind of growing on a lot of people. This is the Israfil 350s. These, in my opinion, and I said it during my review video, they surprised the hell out of me. Seeing this sneaker in hand, I'm not gonna lie, completely changed the way I feel about it. In my opinion, it's up there as one of like the top one or two best 350s that have ever released. I just love the way all of the colors just class together. I think they did a sensational job with this. Um, and I can also understand why a lot of people out there are, uh, you know, filling this sneaker a little bit more now. But this is the Israfil 350s. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I already dropped a review. If you guys wanna hear more of my opinions on it, please, by all means, go check that video out. Boom. Moving on, we have some Air Jordan 1s. These, I actually also went ahead and picked up some more pairs of. Um, to be honest, I'm actually a little upset that I was not successful in picking up more pairs, but it is what it is. I was gonna drop a review of these. If you guys still wanna see that review, let me know. I have no problem you know, giving you guys this review. But let's unbox this real quick. This is the receipt. Let's put that down. Y'all don't need to see that. Oh, baby. Boom. 
These are the Air Jordan 1 Satin Snakeskin, the woman pair. I actually have yet to see these in hand. The quality is actually pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. The snakeskin hint on the back is actually pretty good quality. I definitely was not expecting this. Very nice, even the swoosh is snakeskin too. Nice touch, bro. The satin part of the sneaker is the tongue and also the sock liner, if you guys were not aware. Very dope, man, I actually really like these. These are women's exclusives, so I believe it only went up to like a size 12. I actually have a size 12 somewhere around here. This right here is a size eight, I believe. Yeah, it's an eight. Still pretty dope. These are actually popping off on the market. Understandably so, it's not only a satin, it's also a women's exclusive, and it's also a pretty unique take on a Jordan 1, you know, with the snakeskin hit. Really dope, man. If you guys were able to pick these up, shout out to you guys. I'm pretty sure that you guys are enjoying these as well. Once again, if you guys wanna see a review of these, please let me know in the comment section below. But moving on, let's get into some heat. Part of me still doesn't believe that I actually walked away with both of these. Just crazy, bro. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, the Mamba. You are missed, you are loved. I wish that you were still around. This is the receipt. Again, let's put that down. Oh my God, these are fire, bro. I have not seen these in hand yet, man. Oh baby. These are the Kobe 5 Pro Tro, the Laker colorway. You guys see it right there, man. These are so fire, man. I wish that these were my size. If anybody out there has a 10 and a half in either of the ones that I'm about to show you guys, hit me up. We can work out a trade, I promise, quick, fast, and in a hurry. These are fire, man. Look at this outsole, bro. That icy blue translucent outsole, man. Very nice. The traction looks on point, too. Oh, these are fire, bro. Super fire. Even, like, the details on the upper, like, they have, like, some type of texture to the upper. Very nice, man. Shout out Nike. Shout out Kobe again, bro. I would love these, man. Again, anybody has a 10 and a half, hit my line. We can definitely work out a trade. That is the Kobe 5 Laker colorway, though. Let's move on to the other one. This one's probably the one that most people are a fan of. I, myself, I much prefer having the Laker colorway that I showed you guys. But this is another Kobe 5 Pro Tro. This is the boom the big stage one i believe they're also calling these the parade kobe fives really dope man two different patterns on both sides of the sneaker super dope man 28 35 365 110 time just a whole bunch of super fire stuff on the sneaker man the quality too like nike you did not disappoint i mean it's not to say that kobe doesn't deserve good quality uh you know footwear but I was not expecting this good quality, bro. This is crazy. You see that Kobe signature on the back of the sneaker as well. You also get that gold Mamba logo right there on the tongue. Very nice, man. Still cannot believe that I walked away with these. Again, anybody has a 10 and a half in either one, hit my line. This right here, I believe is a 12. Yeah, this is a 12. The Laker colorway is an 11 and a half. If you guys want to trade, hit my line. We make that work ASAP. But that is pretty much my unboxing, guys. I have some more stuff on the way. I have some Yeezys. I have some more Supreme stuff. I just really couldn't wait to show you guys all this stuff. So why not give you guys an unboxing video? I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like for your boy. Comment your thoughts and please subscribe to the channel. It'll definitely be appreciated. Once again, go enter that COVID-19 box logo giveaway. It's somewhere around here. I can't find it, so I can't show it to you guys. But please go enter. It ends tomorrow. Do not sleep on that. But I appreciate you guys once again. Until next time, peace.